Hey, I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTrackHere.com, and today we're going to cover how to buy a new motorcycle helmet. Before we dive into what I feel is a process you should follow when you're buying your next motorcycle helmet, let's answer this question. What even qualifies me to stand up here and talk about motorcycle helmets? That's a fair question. All the helmets you see in front of me on the table, as well as those behind me hanging on the wall, about 50 in total, are part of my current helmet stash. To be fair, I've given away or thrown out at least half as many over the last 15 years. That's gonna put the total at about 75, plus a few, that I've ridden in, raced in, or even crashed in over that period of time. Every time I do a helmet review, I'm using all of this experience to help me benchmark against, so I'm giving you good honest feedback on helmet shape, fit, true to size or not, and if I've taken the time to ride in it, how does it perform when riding? Ventilation, aerodynamics, all those things. I've invested a tremendous amount of time in really understanding the motorcycle helmet. I would go as far as to say there's no other shop owner out there like me that has invested as much in truly understanding the motorcycle helmet. Power sports are a huge part of my life. Whether I'm out there racing bikes with you all, riding with my son Max the track, or with my family riding snowmobiles in the woods of Michigan, power sports play a massive role in my life, just like they do yours. And for that reason, I feel a lot of responsibility every time we make a sale to do the best I can to make sure you get the most for every dollar you spend with us here at STG. Let's be real. We're all being sold to 24 7 with all these social media platforms we have out there everybody is trying to sell us to be fair i'm trying to sell you a new helmet right now what separates me from what i believe is the rest is that i've invested a tremendous amount of effort to help guide you towards the product that is going to get the job done for a fair price right i'm trying to really work hard to earn the sale at this time we have in the industry and in every industry people that are referred to as brand ambassadors. Essentially what happens there is they're given a product at either a massive discount or at no charge in return for perhaps a video review. Maybe it's a blog article. Perhaps they're gonna leave a review on a marketplace site or an e-commerce site. Well, I do believe wholeheartedly that a lot of those folks are gonna leave a fair and just opinion. It's also very believable that some of them are just gonna say a lot of nice shit because they got something for free. Even the people that are leaving the fair and honest reviews, the difference there again is gonna be the level of experience. My experience with full face helmets is deep and it's really wide and I put all that to work to help you get the most from your next helmet purchase. Now that I have your attention, Let's cover the steps I think you should follow when you're shopping for that new motorcycle helmet. Number one, be smart with your money. Establish a realistic budget. You don't have to spend a ton to get a good, safe helmet, okay? We're gonna identify great helmets at every price tier when we do that comparison. Number two, get a good measurement. Get a sense for what head shape you have. That starts off with a good cloth tape like we've shown you here, or maybe like a seamstress tape. You get a circumference, you use that and compare it to the size chart. If you don't have a tape like this, you can use a string, right, that does not have any elastic properties to it. Stretch it around your dome, mark it, compare it to a steel rule, and you'll get a good measurement. Also, look in the mirror and try and get a sense for what head shape you have. Don't worry about it, 90 plus percent of North Americans are gonna have an intermediate oval head shape, which is slightly longer front to back than side to side. If you're excessively longer front to back than you are side to side, that would be long oval. And if front to back and side to side are very similar, that would be more of a round oval. Your measurement and a general idea of what head shape you think you have 
are going to go a long way when it helps to choosing the right size helmet so you get the best possible fit. Remember, as we've covered in other videos, fit, proper fit, governs performance and most importantly, safety. If it doesn't fit right, even the most expensive helmet in the world dramatically reduces its possibility of being able to protect you in the event of a crash. The helmet has to fit really good. Once you've gotten those two steps out of the way, let's establish some features and benefits that are important to you so we're looking at the right helmets. If you're a street rider and you, you want a drop-down inner screen, okay, filter down for the drop-down inners. If you're racing on the track, let's make sure you've got a certification that is going to be appropriate for the organization that you're racing with. Once you've done all that, now it's for the fun part. Let's get on to step four and let's go shopping and let's pick that next helmet. Most importantly, we're going to cover, when I come back, the golden rule. Once you've received your new helmet, do exactly what I'm about to tell you. The golden rule. You've ordered the helmet. It showed up. Here is your brand new helmet in its box. What I want you to do is I want you to carefully open this box. I want you to save all of its content, okay? We're going to invest some time in making sure this helmet is everything you hoped before you go out and ride in it. The moment you've ridden in the helmet, barring a warranty issue, ownership has forever changed hands. Helmets are like underwear. Once you've worn it, that's your helmet. Once you've worn that underwear, well, that's your underwear. Nobody is going to take that stuff back. That is just simply industry standard. I've saved all the packaging. I've saved the bag. You'll notice the helmet comes with that film on the shield. I want you to leave that in place. From here, put the helmet on and wear it as long as you need to to firmly understand how the helmet fits you. When I get a new helmet, I literally sit at my desk. We're probably going to show you some B-roll right now. I literally sit at my desk for an extended period of time to evaluate the fit. Sometimes that's a half an hour. Sometimes that is an hour. Wear it as long as you need to to make sure you're going to be satisfied with the way the helmet fits before you take it for a test drive. That way, if you have any reservations, there will be no issues with return and or exchange. Okay, we've hit the point where it's time to put the bikes back in the trailer, right? What we're trying to do with this video and the whole series that we have following this doing the helmet comparisons, we're just trying to help you make an intelligent purchase. Trying to help you avoid a pitfall like purchasing this piece of shit wow motorcycle helmet when there are all these other great alternatives out there. I'm guessing Caleb's probably going to show you too. We talked a little bit about wearing the helmet before you ride in it. He's probably going to put a link to a video with the return experience that we had here that was absolutely priceless. If you have a moment, go ahead and tune in and watch that too. It is worth a couple laughs for sure. I'm laughing just thinking about it right now. Craziest return ever. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments section of this video. I answer all the questions myself, and I hope you guys have identified the fact I'm here to help you get the most from your riding experience. I know I told you I was all done, but here I am back again. Video Caleb actually had a great idea that I'm not going to put into action. I'm not going to ask you to like. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe. Notice, we don't have ads on our videos. The sole purpose of this channel is to share all the shit we've learned riding bikes just like you.